Hey, I just heard that another episode of Kit Explores is on. Come on, Bertha. Well, wait for me. I want to watch with you. Hey, kids. Hi, kids. It's me, Kit the Explorer. And who's this? Miles. Miles. Guess what? We have a really cool episode today that's got me feeling really happy. What letter does happy start with? The letter H. H. What sound does H make? How about... <gasps> what words start with that sound? How about... <gasps> hot. Hot. That's right, and it's really hot outside. And guess what? In the heat of the summer, there's a type of animal that loves to bask in the sun. And that type of animal is a reptile. And we're gonna check out some really cool reptiles with our friends today. Come on, come on, Miles. Sir. This is our friend, Jason. And Jason has a YouTube channel called The Reptile Project. And what do you do, Jason? Uh, mostly all I do is play with reptiles. We have a lot of fun with a lot of cool animals and we're just here to bring those to you today. That's cool, could you show us a reptile? Absolutely, let's go ahead and start with something a little bit small. Guess what? Jason is gonna bring a gecko over for Miles to check out. Look at that gecko. Can you tell us about geckos, Jason? I'd be happy to. This little girl is named Blink and she is what you call a crested gecko. They come from an island off the coast of Australia. Australia is a continent on the planet Earth, and it's home to some amazing sights and some really cool creatures, like this baby kangaroo. Oh, actually a baby kangaroo is called a joey. Wow, and is a gecko a reptile? It is a reptile. It, uh, the reasoning they are reptiles because they are, uh, the common word is cold-blooded, but the more correct term would be ectotherm. Ectotherms are animals that can't generate their own body heat, so they spend a lot of time soaking in the warm sun. Do you want to try holding Link? Yeah. Yeah, you want to hold Link? Here, let me help All you. Right. Well, so you keep sure. your hands so still. Oh, do you see how soft she is? Wow. Good job. Whoa. They're really good jumpers. Link knows exactly where to go. She jumped right to Jason, because she knows Jason really well. You want to meet another reptile? Let's meet All another right. reptile, kids. And remember, if you'd like to see more reptiles, you can follow and subscribe to The Reptile Project on YouTube. So this, this is called a ball python. They call them ball pythons because when they're scared, they just roll up into a tiny ball and they like to kind of, I don't think he'll do it for me today because he's very comfortable with us, but they roll wow. up into a big ball and they just stick their head in the middle. A ball python, yeah, can we hold this ball python? Absolutely, this ball python is named Marty. Wow, and Marty. And Marty is 13 what? years old. 13, do you want to touch him, Miles? Yeah. You can pet him. Good job. Yeah. Now do you want to try hold, oh hey, Zeus is doing like what we just talked about, right? There he goes. A ball python, so they like to roll themselves up into a ball. Just like that. Very good. Good job. Wow, see? Miles. You're both holding snakes. If you ever see a snake out in the wild or on the ground, maybe in your garden, the best thing to always do is just to leave them alone because a lot of them don't understand that we aren't gonna hurt them. Animals are just like people. They might be nice and they might not be nice and you don't know unless you know them very well. <laughs> awesome, ready to meet the next ones? Cool, yeah, let's right, meet some let's more animals. Come here, Miles. Right. Hey, Miles. Ooh. So this one, Wow. Uh, this is called a Cayman lizard. Can you say lizard? <laughs> that was close, that give was it another try. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty close too. I like that. Lizard is a tough word to say. Can you say la 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 lizard? La la la, la lizard. 
close. That was pretty that was close. Really good. Yeah. So this wow. this girl, these this species or this particular animal, they come from South America, and they like to live in the Amazon River. The Amazon River flows through a tropical rainforest that's home to many amazing and beautiful creatures. Can you, you tell us touch about her? her tongue? Well, they don't smell with their nose, they smell with their tongue. They stick their tongue out and they flick it around, uh, tasting the air, and then they pull that tongue right back in and they touch it to the roof of their mouth which is the same, Come it's close. very similar to when you smell something. And that's how they smell. That's awesome. <laughs> what do you think? It sounds good to me. Sounds good to me also. What's your favorite part about Ivy? What do you like about her? Her claws. Her claws, she's got really big claws. You know what she uses those claws for? Mm -hmm. What does she use them for, what do you think? What do you think she uses her claws for? To guess me. To get a snail, she can use it to get a snail. One of the, her favorite things to do is actually what she's doing right now. She climbs. She's using me like I'm a tree. Climbs with her claws and swims with her tail. They use that for swimming. Look at that. Whoa. It's just like a big paddle. Paddle, yeah. Wow. We're totally like. How does that feel, hard. Miles? That is really cool. What a nice lizard for letting you touch her tail. Hey, what about chameleons? Talk about chameleons. We're fun. So this is Groot, and Groot is what you call a Jackson's chameleon. He's so still. Have you ever heard of chameleons changing their colors? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, they can do that, but not in the same way that most people think. If you're watching him here, you might see him go to green. You might see him change to with little black spots. He'll maybe turn a little bit yellow. And they change colors depending on their mood. If they're happy, if they're scared, if they're sad, if they're hungry. Sometimes their color changes depending on their mood. So they're kind of like a little animal mood ring. Is this an animal we can hold? Absolutely. Do you okay. want to try? Let him decide to walk Decide on. where you want where he wants to go. Oh, here. Okay. He's gonna go to you. He's gonna go to you now. Wow. They got little claws that are used. They're kind of positioned side by side. Or I'm gonna sideways. put my hand here so he doesn't walk onto your face. <laughs> what do you think of Groot? Can you say hi, Groot? Hi, Groot. <laughs> oh, he's a nice little lizard, isn't he? Another really fun things about chameleons is that look at their eyes. They move independently. When we move our wow. eyes, they go the same directions at the same time, but they'll move their eyes all over the place. Oh, I that way see. they can see, find their prey. That way they don't get eaten by predators. What do you say to Jason for showing you? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, any of these animals can be pets. You may even want to own one someday. But before ever getting any reptile, make sure you always do as much research as you can. Wow. All right, now you're, are you ready to see some animals that maybe are not normally kept as pets? Oh my goodness. Very rare. Okay. What kind of animal do you think is in that box? She's very, very big. A big yeah. animal. Do you have guesses? What might be in there? A turtle? Maybe a turtle or maybe a dinosaur or yeah. who knows what's in there. Let's see. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Really big snake. It is it a, is a big, really snake. big snake. You're absolutely right. All right. Look at how big this snake is. So this here. Wow. You're more than welcome to come down and touch her. Don't worry, she's just a little wet because I rinsed her off. Now this girl is named Snowflake. Snowflake. Yeah, her and she is an albino Burmese python. Do you want to try to hold her? Or how about this? Do you want to try to help us hold her? Do you want to help us pick yeah. her up? So here, so you'll we're gonna lift do. her up in the middle. Okay. And then you're going to pick her tail up here. Can you grab her tail? Pick her up right there. Oh, she's heavy. How heavy is she? 
She is about 50 pounds. Go ahead, use your muscles. Use your muscles, big and there strong, Miles. Whoa! There you go. See, good job. Wow! <laughs> so Snowflake here, uh, it comes to us from uh, Reptile Adventures. And Reptile Adventures kindly let us borrow Snowflake. So a huge thank you to Reptile Adventures for bringing us that. We are gonna find out what's in the other mystery box. Come here, kids, what do you think is in here? What do you think? Probably turtles. Probably a turtles. Turtle. That's what Miles that's thinks. A very good guess. Oh, I saw a tongue. Did you see a tongue? Look at that tongue that's coming Ooh, out. Stinky. Whoa! <laughs> hey, buddy. What is that? A huge lizard. This one I think we'll let Jason handle because he's so big and strong. Look, okay. his face looks exactly like a dinosaur. Look at that face. Mm -hmm. So wow. this boy, his name is Oscar. Oscar. Now Oscar is what you call a black throat monitor. Now he's probably one of the nicest monitors for his size. When I say nicest, they can still be a little grouchy. And look at that big tail. That's amazing. Wow. There we go. Do you guys want to touch Oscar? Yeah, do you want to pet him? Yeah. Oscar is also brought to us by Reptile Adventures, so they let us borrow this animal. Thank you, Reptile Adventures. Thank you for helping us have an adventure with reptiles. Do you want to pet his back? Uh -huh. What's it feel like? It's kind of bumpy. Yeah, kind of bumpy. Kind of bumpy. Mm -hmm. And look at Oscar just cuddling Jason. Such go. a nice cuddle. Look at that hug. Wow, kids. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching another episode of Kit Explores while well, we explored reptiles with the Reptile Project. Jason is with the Reptile Project and you can check out his channel on YouTube at the Reptile Project. And parents, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can follow us on social media on Twitter and Instagram at Kit Explores. Awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. All right. Cute.